once upon a time, a chief financial officer, a CFO, walked into his chief executive officer, his CEO's office, with a piece of paper in his hand. And the CEO looked at the CFO and he says, what is that? And the CFO handed him the letter and says, this is my letter of resignation. While the CEO read the letter, the CFO explained, I have cost our company a million dollars. I have documented in this letter how this loss of a million dollars is my fault. I am to blame. The CEO looked at the CFO and handed him the letter back and said, I refuse to accept your letter of resignation because you have learned a million dollar lesson and I cannot afford to lose you. Today, I am speaking about second chances. Hey, this is Doug Van Pelt, you're watching Heaven's Metal Video Magazine. And specifically, I want to speak about the God of the Bible, who I like to refer to as the God of second chances. The skeptic may think of the Bible as legend, myth, fairy tales, and all that is fine if you want to think of the Bible as just a story, for it is a story. I want to appeal to your open mind to see the story of the Bible as a beautiful, beautiful story. This story encapsulates a God who created everything we see and us and wants to be our friend. This God claims to be holy and perfect. And this God decided to wear skin, to put on human skin, much like a cloak, and live as a human being, as a man upon this earth. That he can empathize, sympathize with what we go through and understand us. And not only did this God put on human skin, but he took his cloak of divinity, as it were, and discarded it. He lived this life of understanding us without wearing his cloak of divinity, but as a man, as someone who can sympathize with our weaknesses. I've written a poem about second chances. It's about one thing that everyone in this room, everyone that can hear me, has in common. We all have this one thing in common, which is failure. Failure is a four letter word that's common to us all. Grace taken for granted until the time we fall. God's not a cynic and he doesn't take sin light, but to think he won't forgive you is a thought from the night. When you fail to meet the standard and feel like such a scum, don't drop out and give up. Remember from where you've come. God's not quitting now. His work with you ain't done. In His eyes, you're worth every bit of His only Son. If you fail, God's not through with you. Don't try and bail. There's confessing to do. Don't justify and try and strike a deal. Repent and believe. Forgiveness is for real. Don't believe the lie that you have to live by a norm. Why did Jesus die if we still have to perform? He took our failure on his back and nailed it to the cross. The believer's rest is knowing this and counting our strength as loss. Forgiveness is a promise made from God to man 
He forgives and forgets like no one else can. You can believe you're forgiven and not forgive yourself, but if you don't apply the grace, it might affect your health. God leaves the 99 to seek and find the one. You may have blown it big time, yet you're still his son. You think when you return, a whipping you will find? But you're thinking wrongly, a kiss is on his mind. Even if you betray him, there's still hope for you. Share with a trusted brother, you know he's fallen too. All of us are human, the word's been truly spoken. God can really use us when we're on our knees and broken. So don't look to programs, tongues, healing, or pretty things. Just reach out to Jesus and the restoration He brings. Quit wallowing in your failure. Get yourself off your mind. God uses broken vessels. They're His favorite kind.